Good morning, welcome to Country Needle Works Monday Marketplace. Pam and Kelly back with another fun project. Uh, this one is the sweater I'm wearing. And I have, well, it, it takes a little bit of explanation. There you go. <laughs> so the pattern I used is called Palette by Lisa Ross. And you can see from the picture, it looks quite a bit different than well, how mine turned out. Um, and let me explain to you why. I just love these bundles from Woolstock and wanted to make a striped sweater with it. And I really liked the shape of this sweater. It was the right gauge for this yarn. So I decided to use that pattern, but do my own striping instead of the little color work, color gradient stripes that they did on the bottom. So um, mine used this cool bundle here, and this is my main color. And I did two row stripes for the colors and 10 row stripes for the main color. And just kept that going throughout the sweater, um, just ignoring when she said to change colors. Did you live in, did you prefigure or just go? What do you mean? Prefigure. Count your rows and figure out. Oh yeah, well I, yeah. no, you know what? It worked out okay. so perfectly. I, I truly just lucked out. I didn't pre-plan it that okay. closely. Okay. Um, so yeah, two row stripes for the little stripes, 10 rows, and it just worked out so that my, I don't know, it worked out really well. And what else worked out really well, I decided on an order for my stripes and then just repeated them. Mm -hmm. And I don't know if you noticed, but they, like, I repeated them each twice perfectly in the sweater. I did notice. But I don't think it would matter if you didn't. That's, you why, know? I, that's why I asked. It really yeah. wouldn't, nobody's gonna notice. Nobody's counting stripes. No, it's we're making gorgeous. sure you ended it's on the right color. Will you turn around and show the back because it has the full stripe effect? It's just really, really sharp. Was there enough of the bundle to do larger sizes? Yes, I had a lot of the bundle left. So Good. the bundles are seven colors, three skeins each of each color. And there were several colors that I didn't even get into the third skein. So there is definitely a lot there. You would have plenty to make the larger sizes. Um, one other thing I wanna point out is a little bit different on mine versus her pattern. She did a two by two rib on the neck band and arms and I opted for a one by one rib um, just because I love to do a tubular bind off on mine. But you can do it however you want. Right, right. Really, that's not hard to change. If you decide you wanted to do a one by one, or you could follow her directions and do the two by two rib also. Mm -hmm. um, I used, I had the smaller skeins, the size skein, the 50 grams, and I used eight of them for my sweater. Okay. Well, we figured out. So yes. the total yardage is what, Pam? The total yardage is 650 smallest size to 1,520 yards, the absolute largest size. And she has a real uh, extensive size seven, limit. Seven sizes. Yeah. So it's going to depend, of course, on your size mm -hmm. as to how much you have. But even at the largest size, you think one bundle will be adequate? I think so. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I don't know for sure. Right. Can't. But I had a lot left. You did. Um, so we didn't put kits together per se this time because it's going to vary so much depending on the size you pick. We just put together some colors that we really liked. And, you know, you could use the 150 gram skeins that has a more limited color palette. Uh, the 50 gram skeins like this one is. We, there's just a bunch Lots of colors of to pick from. So mm -hmm. uh, really you can do whatever you want. The yarn, just to recap, I know we talk about this yarn frequently we have. on our Monday Marketplace, mm -hmm. but it's 100% Highland wool, non-superwash. And the 150 gram skeins have... 150 gram skeins have 370 yards. The 50 grams have, have 123 yards. And the bundles have a total of 252 yards. Mm -hmm. Yep, so the bundles, and we're missing a bundle which is on order, but the bundles, um, we have neutral, 
and they call that one cool warm because it has the pumpkin-y colors in it and then this one is fire and ice fire and ice so there's you could do we just kind of put these colors together because we thought that this was gorgeous with this but right. so is that so we just kind of did some options for each bundle right so probably you know you can obviously pick some of the color combos that we did and just say hey we i want that how many skeins do I need for this size? We're happy to help you with that. Or you could come in and put, like, there are so many other colors. It just would be too overwhelming to show you all of right. them. Um, so again, the pattern is called Palette by Lisa Ross. It is a $7 pattern. We will put links for it in all of our posts so you guys can check it out. Uh, and yeah, use your imagination a little mm -hmm. bit because this looks not much like what Pattern her model in her pattern but it was a great pattern um, and worked perfectly for this so mm -hmm. if you're looking to venture out yeah. a little bit in the risky territory not that risky no it's not that we risky. can count rows two and ten two and ten yeah yes. that's all there is to it um, I wanted to mention really quick too I know we featured this on Monday marketplace before but Pam is wearing this gorgeous Gresham wrap also knit out of wool stock worsted it's just such a squishy, cozy, fun shawl. So it is. Um, and that took um, a bundle pack as well? No. No, they didn't. It took individual I skates. think it was two. You're asking her questions that I, I didn't know. do my homework on. I know. I think the main color was two of the big skeins. Yep. And then this One was the each. 50 gram skeins. Yeah. And like I said, we featured this on Monday Marketplace before, but if you have any questions or want information on it, just let us know but Pam looked cold this morning so <laughs> this is cozy <laughs> so thanks for joining us and we'll see you next week with something new